Welcome to Minneapolis Public Schools. I'm Martha Swanson, Director of MPS Student Enrollment. Thank you for joining us today. We're excited to share with you our great school program options and everything you need to know to find the best school for your child. The first part of our program will explain the school request process and the tools available to help inform your decision about which schools are the best fit for your child. After that, you'll find out more about our terrific program offerings, whether your child is just starting preschool or you're interested in hearing more about our K-12 community schools and citywide magnet schools, we have something for everyone. We'll also tell you about the many student supports and services we have, such as preparing students from an early age to think about what they want to do when they grow up and strive for an advanced degree. And we'll tell you about the mental health supports and social emotional skills we provide students because we also know that in order to be ready to learn and excel at school, our students need to feel seen, heard, and welcomed with open arms for who they are. We'll also highlight the special education services we have that build on your students' strengths and the high expectations we have for them as a learner. Then you'll get a chance to meet our friendly and knowledgeable staff from our student enrollment and family engagement offices who will be providing answers to the most frequently asked questions we get from families. But before we get started, I'd like to introduce you to Superintendent Ed Graff, who is delighted to welcome you to our MPS community. Welcome to the Minneapolis Public Schools Virtual School Enrollment Fair. MPS is excited to meet and lift up our future leaders as we showcase our schools through this 2022-2023 Virtual Enrollment Fair. Thank you for joining us. We are honored you're considering Minneapolis Public Schools as a learning community for your child. And we're excited to continue to make our schools kinder, more loving, and more equitable places to advance your child's learning. Here at MPS, we believe that every child has the right to a quality education. We're committed to providing our students with the best education possible so they can pursue a fulfilling career that will provide them with the life they've dreamed of. In our dynamic and ever-changing world, we will all continue to face both individual and collective challenges. Minneapolis Public Schools are here to partner with you to help your child prepare for the future. Minneapolis Public Schools values the importance of family and community. We welcome family participation and are working to remove barriers that prevent families from feeling valued in our schools. Because equity and diversity are our cornerstones, our comprehensive district design addresses the historic and current realities that have led to very different experiences for our children based on race and zip codes. Students deserve learning experiences that reflect and celebrate what they've known in their homes and cultures. Through MPS Together, which you may have heard called our climate framework, we are changing the environment in our schools and buildings to ensure all families, students, and staff feel a sense of belonging. MPS Together celebrates the rich diversity of the many cultures and histories that each of us brings to MPS because we know that together we are stronger and better. MPS also believes in empowering our educators and staff to show up as their best selves when teaching and serving our students and their families. MPS educators are working hard to reframe how they teach every subject integrating the worldviews and life experiences in our students. And we value transparency and accountability in order to build trust and make the transformative changes necessary to deepen our relationships and educational successes. As you consider which school you will choose for your child, know that your child will become a member of our accomplished community of alumni who've gone on to make our city stronger, as well as strengthen communities across our nation and around the world. We're looking forward to having you join us in creating new school communities that are becoming more focused and rigorous in creating better learning sites through capital improvements like performance spaces and robotic labs and in making career and technical education classes available district-wide. I hope you enjoy getting to know our schools and other programs that exist to support your child and your family. We have something for everyone and something right in your neighborhood. Community schools are the centerpiece of each community and should reflect the communities around them. If you have any questions, reach out to our student enrollment staff who are ready and waiting to help you navigate the school enrollment process. Again, we're honored that you're considering MPS and we look forward to getting to know you and your child. We are MPS now. MPS graduates form the fabric of our city and we want to ensure all schools, students and families across the district have access to the resources that they need. 
We're excited to work with you to build a strong MPS now. Thank you, Superintendent Graff. Now we're going to tell you about how to find and request a school. The school enrollment process is as easy as one, two, three. First, you can explore your school options to find the best fit for your student. Your options will include your community school and citywide magnets. Second, you can request up to three schools, either through our online request portal or with a paper request form. To have the best chance of getting a spot at your first requested school, you'll want to be sure to submit your request by the due date for our first round of school placements. And third, you register with your school. You can complete this online or in person after you receive your school placement notification. Now, let's cover more details about each step. Step one, exploring your school options. Finding the right school for your student can feel overwhelming, but just know that we have tools to guide you along each step of the way. Of course, we have our Explore MPS website that has a lot of information about our schools. If you prefer to look at the website in one of our other main languages, you can do so using the translation feature here. On our website, you'll find our Explore school guide that provides the essential information that you need all in one place. This is a good place to start to get a sense of what you need to know about the school request process. Once you've reviewed the school guide, Use the school finder, which is exactly what it sounds like. It helps families find the school options available based on the home address. When you visit the MPS Explore website, the first thing you'll see is a big blue box at the top of the page. This is where you fill in your home address, including the city and zip code. Then just enter your child's grade level. For example, if you're looking for a pre-kindergarten program for your child who will be four years old by September 1st, you would select High Five. Then simply click Find Your School button and you'll see all the locations available to you for High Five. Now let's look at an example for a student entering Minneapolis Public Schools as an incoming seventh grader. Just like before, you would enter your home address, but this time select Grade 7. Now you'll see that your community school, in this case, your community middle school, comes up as an option along with several citywide magnet options. Your community school is just what the name suggests. It's the school that specifically serves your community and neighborhood. Students who live in the attendance area for their community school but live outside its walk zone will be eligible for bus transportation. And magnets are what that name suggests. They draw students from many parts of the city and have a focused theme of instruction that appeals to students' interests and ways of learning. For any of your options, to find out more about each school, click on View School to learn more. You can see where the school is located and what the start and end times are for the school. And you can find more details about the school program. You'll also see what the middle and high school pathway options are for the school. So, those are the highlights of the School Finder and how it can help you in your school enrollment process. But just know that if you're still not sure which option is best for your student, consider using our School Matchmaker tool that asks questions to help you identify which features of a school are most important for you and your student, such as magnet theme, start time, or location. Another important step to finding the right school for your student is to visit the schools that are listed as your options. Schools provide both in-person and virtual open houses during the school request season, so you can meet school staff and get a good feel for the program and school community to see if this is a best fit for your student and family. To find out when the schools you're interested in are holding their open houses, please contact the school or visit their website. And don't forget that the Explore MPS website is filled with information, including a timeline of the key dates that are important to keep in mind. Now, step two, requesting a school. Once you know which schools you want to request, you're ready to complete and submit your school request form to let us know your top one, two, or three school choices for next year. 
Because there are a limited number of seats at each school, it's best to list more than one school in case your top choice fills up. If you're requesting your community school as your top choice, you don't need to list additional schools. But if you're putting a magnet school first or two magnets as your first and second choices, we recommend that you be sure to list your community school as well. And be sure to verify all the information you've entered is correct before submitting the form. In some cases, you may be asked for proof of address. And if you need more time to think, you can come back later. Just make sure to submit your request by the due date, February 7th, 2022. Step three, registering with your school. After you've made your school request, you'll receive a school placement notification in early March to let you know which school your student will be enrolled in. Your placement notification will let you know the name, address, and phone number of your child's school for the 22-23 school year and will explain next steps for completing school registration and participating in welcome events at your new school. To finish the enrollment process, it's very important to complete school registration as early as possible so your child's new school can start planning to welcome your child. Your new school will have some additional forms to fill out. Please be prepared to provide the following. Documentation of your child's name and birth date, your child's immunization record, and your child's early childhood screening summary. If your child is starting MPS for the first time and is requesting high five or kindergarten. Then, in late summer, your school will have an open house where you can meet other families and your child can meet other students, the principal, their teachers, and other staff. If your child qualifies for transportation, you'll receive a notice in August letting you know your child's bus stop and the pickup and drop-off times. One last thing to remember is that it's very important to make sure your school has your most current contact information, including your home address, phone number, email, and emergency contact information. If any of this information changes from the time you register with your school, please contact your school as soon as you can to give them the latest information. This will help make sure your child's bus and other important services are all set for the first day of school. I hope this was helpful. I know this is a lot of information to remember, but please know that our friendly student enrollment staff are here to help you every step of the way. we're going to learn about our school programs that are available to families. Minneapolis Public Schools Early Childhood Education programs prepare children for success in kindergarten and beyond. MPS provides a range of high quality programs and services for families and their children from birth to kindergarten. Through our early childhood programs, Children learn a range of skills to prepare them for success in kindergarten, school, and life, while families learn how to best support their children as they grow. Early Childhood Education provides a range of programs including MPS First Stop, Early Childhood Screening, Early Childhood Family Education, Early Childhood Special Education, two preschool programs called Three School and High Five, child care for before and after school, and teen parent services. Let me share a few highlights about some of these programs. MPS First Stop has two programs, the Early Intervention Central Intake and Early Childhood Screening programs, which provide free services and supports to young children. Our services support your child's academic and physical growth by helping families enroll in early education programs and connecting you to health and dental services for your child and family. Our Early Childhood Family Education Program, referred to as ECFE, knows that parenting is hard work and our staff is here to help you. ECFE offers classes, programs, and support services for families with children from before they are born all the way to kindergarten. ECFE provides an opportunity for parents to learn about a child's development, temperament, discipline, sleep, nutrition, and so much more. Parents and children enjoy group time and activities followed by a parent discussion led by a licensed parent educator, all while connecting you to other parents, which provides families with a sense of community in our programs. All services are matched to the culture and language needs of families. Our programs are provided in Hmong, Somali, Spanish, Amharic, Oromo, and English. 
We offer more than 80 ECFE class options in several school sites across Minneapolis. We also offer home visits where an early childhood professional comes to your home to share child development activities and parenting support. And our Parents Network is a fun program where you invite friends to your home for a two-hour personalized parent education session provided by a licensed early childhood professional. We provide personal phone consultation to help you get parenting questions answered through a 30-minute phone consultation with a licensed early childhood professional. Our preschool programs serve children who are three and four years old. These great preschool programs prepare children for an easy transition to kindergarten and long-term academic success. Our preschool classes are taught by high-quality licensed teachers. Transportation is free and there is a sliding fee scale so no one is turned away if they are unable to pay. All MPS preschool programs have a four-star rating from Parent Aware and the great curriculum is aligned with the state and MPS education standards. Our High Five preschool program is for four-year-olds. Children must turn four by September 1st to be in High Five and will start kindergarten the following fall. High Five provides both half-day and full-day options and are located at many MPS schools throughout the city. Our three-school preschool program is for three-year-olds. Children must turn three by September 1st. Three School is a half-day program for children who live in North Minneapolis within the area south of 35th Avenue, east of Penn Avenue, north of West Broadway, and west of 3rd Street. We have also added a program on the south side for families who live in the Lindale Community School Zone. Alphabet Soup is another preschool program for three-year-olds. Children must turn three years old by September 1st to be in the program. Alphabet Soup is offered three days a week and is taught by licensed early childhood teachers and parent educators. I know this was a lot of information about our great early childhood education programs, and we have more that you might want to learn about. So feel free to call us with any questions at 612-668-2140. We'd love to talk to you. Visit our website to learn more about our programs and contact information. ece.mpls.k12.mn.us. public schools. We believe all students and families deserve strong community schools regardless of where they live, and that our schools should reflect the rich histories of our city's unique neighborhoods. MPS community schools provide high-quality academic programs that welcome and celebrate our students' diverse cultural backgrounds while providing students with a smooth academic pathway from elementary to middle and high school that builds student skills and fuels their interest each step of the way. We provide all learners with well-rounded education through an elementary school reading and writing curriculum that better engages students by connecting lessons to students' individual identities, cultures, and languages. Every elementary school has a math and literacy specialist who provides students in kindergarten through second grade with personalized instruction and attention to ensure they are on track academically and are engaged in advanced learning. MPS also provides every fifth grader with instrumental music instruction to inspire students' artistic talents that they can continue in middle and high school. And all our middle schools offer the International Baccalaureate Middle Years Program, which helps students make connections between what they learn in school and the real world to make coursework more meaningful and personal. The Middle Years Program also challenges students to think critically about the world around them while building students' critical thinking skills. Many of our middle grades also offer dual language programs to prepare students to become bilingual and biliterate in Hmong or Spanish, which students continue to deepen as they transition to the high school language pathway program. We also offer a Somali heritage program at specific community schools from elementary through high school. This strong academic foundation prepares students to thrive at our high schools, where we have added even more courses for students to earn free college credits to give them a head start in gaining an advanced degree after graduation. Each of our high schools offers specialized programs that prepare students for careers that are in high demand and provide competitive wages. 
In particular, our career and technical education program that is offered at some high schools provides students with engaging, hands-on learning and competitive careers. Minneapolis Public Schools is committed to providing our students and families with strong schools close to home. We look forward to welcoming you to one of our schools. Minneapolis Public Schools provides a range of exciting school programs offered to families throughout the city. These type of citywide schools are also known as magnet schools. Magnet schools are what the name suggests. They draw students from many parts of the city and have a focused theme of instruction that appeals to students' interests and ways of learning. MPS offers citywide school programs specializing in the arts, STEM and STEAM programs, which stand for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math, Spanish, Dual Language, Bilingual Education, Montessori, and Global Studies and Humanities. MPS's art schools are a great fit for students who love to draw, sing, dance, perform, or play an instrument. The art schools put students' artistic interests front and center and nurtures the creativity and talents of our students. Students learn through different art forms, such as dance, music, theater, and visual arts. Students combine their skills and talents in the arts with other subject areas to fully integrate learning throughout their school day. Students grow their artistic talents and interests through strong programming, performances, guest artists, community partnerships, and field trips. And students have many opportunities to demonstrate their learning through their performances, exhibits, and presentations. All these experiences build on classroom learning and promote future careers in the arts. Ready right now, ready right now. Our wonderful STEM and STEAM school programs are perfect for students interested in science, technology, engineering, and math. While the STEAM program includes arts learning, STEAM program allows students to learn through extended projects based on real world challenges in project based learning in science, math, art, design, engineering, and technology. Students who attend STEAM schools develop skills in science and math, as well as refining their artistic talents. STEAM students are skilled at working with others, sharing ideas, creating new solutions, and analyzing information. Students studying STEAM are prepared for bright futures by developing skills needed for their careers, including leadership, flexibility, cultural awareness, and the ability to use and create technology. Students engage in the use of digital media to communicate information effectively to many audiences. Students learn advanced technology using makerspaces, robotics, coding, and engineering, and have the opportunity to explore future careers in STEM and STEAM. For our multilingual learners and students interested in learning another language, we have our Spanish dual language programs. Dual language programs are designed for students who speak Spanish, English, or additional languages. In the dual language program, students learn language throughout coursework as they learn to fully speak, write, and read in both English and Spanish while learning about their own culture as well as other cultures. Students learn subjects in both languages from pre-kindergarten through 12th grade. Starting in kindergarten, elementary students receive classroom content and reading and writing instruction, primarily in Spanish, with more time spent in English each year. Then, in fifth grade, students spend half their day learning in Spanish and the other half learning in English. As students move through middle school and then through high school, they continue to develop high levels of expertise in challenging courses in Spanish and English. Each day, students learn how to think, process, and communicate with each other and their teachers as bilingual learners. Dual language bilingual education can be one of the most effective ways for English learners to develop their language and academic skills, and it also helps both native English speakers and English learners improve their communication skills, empathy, and cultural awareness. The Montessori School program provides a supportive, calm, caring environment that ignites a child's interest so they become lifelong learners. Offered in pre-kindergarten through fifth grade, 
Montessori students develop a natural desire to learn through a child-centered environment where curiosity is encouraged and fostered as students learn to become responsible, independent, and self-motivated. The classroom environment is designed to enhance a child's sense of order, freedom, and responsibility, as well as learning alongside students of different ages. Montessori students demonstrate their learning in multiple ways, such as presentations, projects, and performances focused on individuality and creativity. Through all these ways of learning, Montessori students develop skills in time management, collaboration, flexibility, and goal setting while understanding their role as global citizens. Students in the Global Studies and Humanities School program are challenged to explore and examine the past, present, and future through a critical and global lens. Students learn about local and global events and how they impact our daily lives. Offered for pre-kindergarten through eighth grade, the Global Studies and Humanities program focuses on academics and social-emotional learning to provide students with a broader understanding of themselves, their community, and the world. Global Studies and Humanities promote service learning, collaboration, and student-led discovery. Students experience intergenerational learning and explore the past, present, and future as they examine the histories and cultures of different countries and people. Students learn about the concepts of power, privilege, and influence to gain an understanding of the importance of advocacy and standing up for social justice to take care of our communities near and far. Students show their commitment to advocacy and social justice through service learning and community action projects. Through meaningful and authentic education, students gain an individual as well as collective awareness while learning how we impact one another locally and globally. As you can see, MPS Magnet Schools provide families and students with a variety of exciting specialty programs to meet a wide range of student interests. Those school programs sound so exciting. Now we're going to learn about how we support our students in our schools so they're ready to learn every day. At Minneapolis Public Schools, our Department of College and Career Readiness starts to prepare students at an early age to be ready for life after graduation, supporting them as they create their academic plans so they can achieve their career goals. This includes getting an advanced degree so they can pursue a career that excites them. Advanced degree options include two-year colleges, four-year colleges, trades programs, apprenticeships, and the military. As early as elementary school, MPS staff encourage students to imagine what they want to do when they grow up and to make sure every student knows they can achieve anything they set their mind to. Then as students enter middle grades, they start the My Life Plan program to explore career options that match their interests and skills. As early as middle grades, students visit local colleges and universities to get comfortable with the higher education environment and to start planning for their continued education after graduation. Career exploration opportunities include bringing in speakers from a variety of fields and industries, tours of local colleges and other advanced degree programs, job shadowing, internships, local and even national trips such as to Washington, D.C. My Life Plan continues to guide students from middle grades until graduation, adapting to students' shifting interests while keeping them on track to gaining an advanced degree. High school students are also encouraged and supported in taking advanced coursework so they can earn free college credits and even earn certification in certain fields. Students can earn several credits by the time they graduate high school, saving thousands of dollars. Other ways we support high school students include one-to-one -one school counseling to ensure students are on track with their high school credits and are taking classes that prepare them for an advanced degree, tutoring if they need extra help with their coursework, managing the college application process, we know big changes can be stressful for students. That's why we also have programs to help students feel welcomed and ready to transition from elementary school to middle ages and then to high school and into an advanced learning program after they graduate. We also provide fun and academically challenging after school and summer programs so students can explore, create, and connect with one another year round. All of this prepares students to succeed in school and to smoothly transition to the advanced learning institution that best fits their interests and set them on a path to a fulfilling career. At MPS, we want our families to know our school counselors are here to help your student plan for their future and to answer your questions. 
We're here for you. At Minneapolis Public Schools, students who receive special education services and spend most of their time in general education can get all of the services they need in their community school or citywide school. We also have programs for our students who need more intensive support. While these services might not be available at every school, we have programs across the city that provide intensive supports. This allows for students to be closer to home while still getting special education services from highly trained teachers and support staff who specialize in the disability area that most reflects your students' needs. For the first time in NPS history, our families with students who need more intensive support can also request a magnet school, which are schools that have a focused theme of instruction that appeals to students' interests and ways of learning. Or students can attend a school that has citywide programming designed for your students' unique needs that is closest to your home and has space available. No matter what your students' needs are, your case manager and special education team are ready to support you through the placement process. We also have an active parent advisory council that is available to provide families with support and advice while also advising MPS on how we can continuously improve our services to students and their families. Examples of services available to students include speech therapy, assistive technology, and adapted physical education so that all students can be active and be included. Together, you and your student's educational team will develop an individual education plan to prioritize the goals your student will work on during the school year. Our special education staff are trained in the latest math and reading interventions and supports, as well as instructional strategies like visual schedules, organizational tools, and making adjustments to homework and tests. Finally, we want you and your student to know that you are a valued member of MPS in your school community. MPS celebrates the uniqueness in each student and the gifts they bring to the school and their fellow students. We work hard to build on the strengths your student brings to their school and have high expectations for them as a learner. At MPS, special education is not a place that students go, but rather a service that supports students to be ready to learn, make friends, and manage their own emotions. Now more than ever, school is a place where your student will feel they belong and support it. If you are new to Minneapolis Public Schools, welcome. We can't wait to get to know you and your student. If you are a part of our MPS community already, we look forward to continuing to work with you and your student in the coming year. At Minneapolis Public Schools, we know that when students are supported in working through their personal struggles, they are more ready to learn and excel at school. And that's why we provide students with a variety of supports to help them manage the stresses and challenges presented at school, home, and in life. Our Department of Mental Health Support Services provides mental health and chemical health supports that are sensitive to our students' diverse cultural backgrounds and histories. Our school-based mental health specialists provide students with healing-centered supports through both one-to-one -one counseling and support groups. We also help our students navigate difficult and traumatic events that occur either in their school, neighborhood, or broader community. Working as a team, the school social worker, psychologist, nurse, and counselor are there to help students process these events and to support them individually and as a school community. As we strive to eliminate the stigma around mental health, we also help families by connecting them to low-cost and no-cost community-based mental health resources, providing lessons, activities, and tips to guide conversations with their students around sensitive issues that may impact their students' ability to engage in school. And through our caregiver institutes, we provide families with knowledge and resources to address concerns around their students' mental health. At MPS, we also provide students with social-emotional skills to help them build and positively manage their relationships with other students and adults. Students are taught such skills as how to identify and process their feelings and emotions, along with being aware of how their feelings can impact them physically. 
Friendship and social skills help students make friends and connect to others as they learn how to be considerate of others and how to resolve conflicts. Students also learn skills that support their academic growth, such as contributing to cooperative group tasks and finding solutions to problems. Social-emotional learning also teaches students the skills needed to manage anxiety, peer pressure, and bullying. As students grow and mature, the mental health supports and social-emotional skills they learn along the way prepare them to manage the challenges, stresses, and successes that life presents. At MPS, we're here to help students in their journey to self-discovery so they feel safe, comfortable, and confident to show up each day as their true selves without the anxiety of wondering if they will fit in. This is because at MPS, we know that we are all stronger and better together than alone. Hello again. I hope you're finding our program helpful, but I'm sure you have a lot more questions. We've gathered a panel of experts from the Enrollment Office to answer some of the most frequently asked questions that we hear from parents every day. Hi everyone, welcome to our question and answer session. My name is Amanda Dion. I work here at Minneapolis Public Schools and am the director of our engagement department. Today I am here with a team of experts in our enrollment office to answer some questions that we often hear from families during our enrollment season. I would like to introduce Maricela, who is in the enrollment office, Shakur, as well as Liana. Thank you for um, being here with us today. So the first question that I have is for you, Maricela, is how do I request a Minneapolis public school? It's very easy and very fast. Um, you're able to go to our website, exploremps.org. You'll enter your home address, select a school, and just kind of follow the steps along the online request form. Um, it is very mobile friendly and it's available in five different languages. Now for the families that don't feel comfortable doing it online, we can definitely have them come in person to fill out the paper form. Um, and we're located at student enrollment, and that's at 1250 West Broadway. Thank you. Follow-up question to that that we hear from our families is, how will I know which schools my children can attend? So we do encourage families to request a community school um, or a magnet school or a combination of both. Now, if they are interested in two different magnet schools, we do um, recommend that they request a community school as third choice. Um, uh, now, if they do request it by that February 7th due date, they'll have a more likelihood of being placed in their first choice selected. Okay, so February 7th is an important date to remember. Very important date. Thank yes. you. <laughs> Shakur, what is a community school? What are the placement rules? Community school is, uh, so the Minneapolis Public Schools District is uh, divided into small attendance areas, and each attendance area has its own elementary school, middle school, and high school. And so all the students who live within that attendance area qualify for a bus unless they live within the walking zone. Thank you. Follow up question. What's a magnet school? What's different about the enrollment process? So a magnet school is citywide. And what that means is any student who lives in, the, in Minneapolis can make a request. And if they do get into the school, they will get busing unless they live um, within the walking zone. Thank you. Leanna, am I guaranteed a spot at my community school? Do I have to request it? So families should request the community school um, or schools that they're looking for for their students so that we know and have record of that request. Um, otherwise, if you wait until after that enrollment due date of February 7th, some of the classes could fill up and at that time, there could be a possibility of a waiting list. Thank you. Um, what if we move during the request and enrollment period? So please do let one of the team members know from the enrollment team here at Minneapolis Public Schools um, if you are to move so that we can let you know of any school changes that would affect and also the programs and services within your community school area. A question that we often hear from families that ask for more information about is, what is an out-of-area community school? 
And can I request an out of area community school? Yeah, great question, Amanda. So um, when we say community school, like we said before, it is based off of your home address. And so for any school that's not in that attendance area will be considered an out of area school. So you means that you don't physically live in that attendance area of this school. You are definitely able to request any school that you're interested in, um, but only a small number of students are placed during a lottery. Now, if you do happen to get a placement in an out of area school, transportation would not be provided. Another question that we received from Minneapolis Public Schools families is about preschool options. What preschool options does Minneapolis Public Schools offer? Yeah, so we do have two different options for our little ones in MPS. Um, the first one's called High Five, which is a program for four-year-olds. Um, they must turn four by September 1st to qualify, and it's offered at different community and magnet schools, um, 27 to be exact. Um, and we also have what's called three school. Now this is for three-year-olds. It's a lot more limited. Um, unfortunately, it's only offered at two locations. Thank you. To continue the questions around high five and preschool options, another question that we receive from MPS families is, if my child is attending high five at my attendance area community school, do they automatically get to stay there for kindergarten? So yes, all students who are currently attending High Five in the Minneapolis Public Schools will be enrolled next year at their community schools. Um, if you are interested in a magnet school, um, please make the request, and that is from November 20 to February 7th. Thank you. So you mentioned magnet schools. How do magnet waiting lists work? So every request that we receive um, it's entered into the placement system, and it's the system that puts them in order. And the order is based on their um, priority enrollment, such as um, whether the student lives in Minneapolis or if they live within the school's half mile radius or if they do have a sibling in there. When we run the magnet lottery, we place as many students as possible to fill the open seats. Students who remain on the list after the lottery make the wait list. Students stay on the wait list in a priority order. Thank you so much for the information. On the theme of waiting lists, Leanna, how do community school waiting lists work? So if you request your attendance area community school by that February 7th due date, you can expect your child to be placed in the first round of school placements by the first week of March, and they shouldn't need a waiting list. Now, some community schools are filled by summertime, so requests received in June or later may need to be added to a waiting list. Thank you. Can my child be on a waiting list for an out-of-area community school? Some out-of-area requests may be honored, but students will not be added to the waiting list for out-of-area community schools. But all request records are saved in our enrollment system. Thank you. Maricela, do waiting lists roll over to the next school year? No, waiting lists do not roll over for the next school year. So for example, if you requested your third grade student to be placed in a particular school building and they weren't able to get in, you would have to submit another request for next fall for fourth grade. Transitioning to our next topic, what's the difference between distance learning and MPS online school? That's a great question. We get that a lot. Um, so in March of 2020, due to COVID-19, um, across the district, we moved to distance learning um, because students would not be able to be in person in school as well as staff. And so by doing so, uh, the district realized that a lot of parents um, enjoyed this style of learning um, and it was a great method for students as well. And so they created a school called MPS Online um, and that's now offering kinder through 12th grade. Thank you for sharing the differences between distance learning and MPS online school. Yeah. We will move on to our next topic, which is about the second lottery. Shakur, what is the second lottery? How does it work? So the second lottery is uh, focused and it's uh, all about magnet schools. And so it's for students who did not get in to magnet schools from the first lottery. And also, so the due date for the second lottery is April 4th. So any requests up until April 4th, and also the students who did not get in from the first lottery will be in this lottery, in the second lottery. 
If I didn't get the magnet school I requested in the first lottery, will I have another chance in the second lottery? Yes, you will have an opportunity of getting into the second lottery. Next question that we receive from our families and switching topics again. If I request my community school after the first due date, will it be in the lottery? So the second lottery is only for magnet schools. That said, you can request a community school at any time and we will process that as soon as possible, um, given that there's space in that grade. And then in some cases, you may have to submit proof of address. For my final question, it's more of a technical question. What if my childcare and home addresses are in different attendance areas? So if the childcare is not in your attendance area, you may want to look into a magnet school because the magnets now do provide citywide busing. Thanks to our panel for answering these frequently asked questions. We know every family situation may be a little bit different. Our enrollment team is here to help. Reach out to us by calling 612-668-1840 or by email. We look forward to hearing from you. I hope this was helpful. I know this is a lot of information to remember, but please know that our friendly student enrollment staff are here to help you every step of the way.